Hello and welcome to Linda's 144 Hobbies. Uh, today I'm going to do another try on my third Paint With Me video. Um, but first uh, I'm going to do a quick unboxing. This is um, a storage bag. Uh, I've ordered it from AliExpress on a store called, I always forget to check the name of the store. It's called DP SUPR, DP Super Factory Store. I don't know if you can see it there. I paid 160 Swedish kroners, which is about $16. Uh, I ordered it on the 25th and it arrived yesterday and yesterday was the 21st of August so about a month uh, and yeah they shipped it on the 26th of July so about a month um, yeah uh, I don't know if it's worth waiting you know oh, and I of course I had to pay uh, some fees to get the package into Sweden as well of course so I think I must have paid uh, at least around 80 kroners which is eight dollars for the tax the customs and yada 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 yes okay I will shut up and open this package I got some labels with it as well. Um, it's the one with blue color. I have another one in blue and one in green. I think it's a bit squished, squished there at the bottom. Um, and it's these uh, plastic round containers uh, and I think they can hold quite a few beads in it. I've ordered uh, in total three of these bags for my Heaven and Earth diamond painting designs who has, which has 140 colors and there are 60 uh, containers in each bag. Um, and one of the bags have the larger of these containers as well so I wanted to try that out and as I said I paid like 16 bucks for this waited a month um, and I could order these bags in Sweden which I have ordered the other two and they cost like 350 so that's like $35 plus shipping but you're free of the taxes. So it is still cheaper to order this from China. But that's the thing. If you want some crafting supplies in Sweden, which, you know, is a bit uh, uncommon for the crafters in Sweden, you have to, if you're lucky to find it in Sweden, you have to pay at least twice as much or you have to order it from abroad, from abroad and you have to pay high shipment, customs and some tax and some fee to the post office handling the package. And I've paid the most, the highest fee I have ever paid was about 200 dollars for just getting the package to Sweden and that's excluded the price for them it was a cross stitch kit Ex excluded the kit price and the shipping 
So this was just for getting the package to, into Sweden, you know, when once it arrives to Sweden, it starts costing money. But yeah, let's, let's, um, I'm going to change the camera angle. So, excuse me if you get seasick. I'm going to zoom in. And then I'm going to tip you a little bit so you can see the whole picture. I'm still working on Arya Stark from Game of Thrones. Ordered it on Sophie's Beauty Home official store. Mm, let's see if I can. I want it over here. I think you can see most of it. Whoops. Let's have it there. We'll keep it there. <clears throat> I actually tried to make a, a paint with me video yesterday and using my mobile phone so the camera wouldn't stop recording after 30 minutes, which this one is doing. I, oh, uh, let's rewind. Um, I did that and I lost my video. I can't find it on my phone and I just, I know I recorded this video <clears throat> and answering the last questions of the mishmash tag and God, I lost it and I have to answer these questions again. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, but now I have set my watch. And the alarm will go off in like 15 minutes. So then I will have to stop the camera and start recording again. Yeah, but I think it's a good idea that I um, lost my video because I was kind of in a bad mood about the post office uh, having my DAC package hostage uh, and they've had it for more than a week since the 12th of August without letting me know that they need information from me. And I think it is the value of the package they want to know so they can charge me full custom. Yes, full price. So it's going to cost me quite a bit to get it. Um, so yeah, I think I stepped on some people's toes yesterday when I was filming. And that's uh, on those people's toes who complain about high shipment costs when you live in the United States and you have to order from another country. And uh, that really makes me not very happy because uh, not only do we who not who doesn't live in America, like me, who live in Sweden, have to pay quite a bit for shipping, like for the Diamond and Art Club. And we have to wait quite long for it. And then we have to pay a custom fee and we have to pay tax for it. And then we have to pay a fee to the post office for handling the package because I gave them more work to do because I ordered from another country. Yeah. So let's not talk about that because I can feel my anger building. So um, I have a few of those questions left to answer. Uh, and 
I'm quite sure it's I think it was uh, oh question 28 to 35 so but I'm gonna pick a color first Jesus I'm gonna I'm gonna do um, 339 And I'm using the Doris containers. Uh, this is the big container and I really, really, really like this tray. Um, and I highly um, recommend it, really, I do. Um, I might need some wax, let's see, maybe not. Mm, and I don't think you're gonna be able to see the symbols, but it's, um, an arrow anyway i can show you here i'm doing this one and i've just been living the 310 life um, um, but on this section uh, there weren't that much black so this is, um, oh, what do you call it in English? Yeah. Words, words. It's so difficult to speak another language. <laughs> um. Anyway, question 28. What is something your brain tells you to do, even though you know you shouldn't do it? And as I said, this is like the third or fourth time I'm answering these questions and failed because my camera has stopped filming or I've lost the film. So, um, you know, midnight in bed shopping, you're laying in bed, you're watching a YouTube video and somebody's doing an unboxing or a whip or a finished uh, picture or movie of, usually it's like cross-stitching, uh, coloring, mixed media or diamond painting. And you're like, I gotta have that one. I know I shouldn't, you know, you really shouldn't. I mean, have you looked at your bank account? And the next morning <laughs> when you wake up, you're like, did I? Did I really? Did I? And you open the mail and you see a confirmation mail saying, thank you for your order. Yeah. So that's one of those things. I do that a lot. But, I mean, some people spend their money on clothes, going out, eating out, uh, traveling maybe, and stuff like that. I don't do that. So. Question 29, the dumbest way you have been injured. And the thing is, I usually don't get injured. Oh, I just came to think of something. I don't know if it was an injury. It could have been though. I was working with one of my uh, wooden ship models, you know, modeling. And I was using this super fast drying glue, which was like water liquid. And I knew that it was kind of dangerous to work with because it dried so fast. And since it's liquid, you know, once you put it on the wood or, you know, the, the boat, uh, it starts running like water. And I wasn't fast enough at some point and my thumb got stuck on that wooden boat and it's like 
um, 30 centimeters, 40 maybe. And you know, I start screaming, calling my husband, help, help, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. You know, and oh, I thought when I was pulling that boat off my thumb, the skin was gonna come along, but it didn't, thank God. But holy cow. Yeah. I guess that was a little bit dumb, wasn't it? But it's not that I can't I can't come to think of anything. Maybe, you know, if I'm out running, I'm super tired and I don't stop and walk for a bit, you know, because I always, you know, put these demands on myself that, you know, only losers stop running and all this. And I know it's not like that. But for me, oh, sorry. For me, I'm a loser if I stop. So I run and run. And then I get so tired that I don't have the energy to lift my feet enough. So I trip. And, you know, I s scrub my nails. Uh, no, no, not <laughs> my knees. So bad. Yeah. That's also very dumb. Okay, let's move on. Question 30. If you could have an absolute truth to one question, what would you ask? You know, one of our ministers in Sweden in the 80s got, 80s got murdered. He was shot on the street while leaving the, the cinema together with his wife. And this man was like the highest politician in Sweden. He was an enemy to some. And it amazes me that he was actually leaving that place without any bodyguards. I know this is not the, you know, answer to the meaning of life and all this, but I would really, really like to know what happened and why he got murdered and how and all this. Question 31. Where is the worst smelling place you have ever been? Again, I can't came, come to think of anything. But usually, you know, like at work. Again, I, I work at a hospital. And sometimes, you know, staff or patients come into that place. And they have, I don't know, taken a shower in perfume. Or, you know, even you know, work colleagues. And I hate that smell. I can't breathe. And it sets uh, off migraine, migraine. So it doesn't have to smell like trash or something. But uh, perfumes, heavy perfume smells, yeah, that's the worst. So I would say it might work. But I'm sure I've been to other places which smells horrible. But that's what I'm thinking of at the moment. Question 32. If you could time travel, who would you go back in time to, to see and to talk to? Living or dead? I would like to travel back in time and meet Jim Morrison in The Doors. Do 
don't ask why, I just do. Question 33. Invite five people to dinner. Who would it be and why? I would... Uh, invite Dalai Lama and Barack Obama. That was only two. Um, this is so difficult, really. I would like to invite my grandmother who passed when I was a teenager. Oh, I would uh, invite, uh, her name is Mia Hveringa, she's um, a Swedish uh, comedian, but she also is our front figure spokesperson for the Me Too uh, here in Sweden. She talks a lot for female you know, rights and all this. She's awesome. I would invite her too. Yeah. Who else? I'm sure I have more people I look up to. I don't know if you can see it over here if I'm off camera. <coughs> yeah, these questions are so difficult to answer really. Four will do. Um, family food traditions. We don't have that much tradition in my family, like my husband, my daughter, and I. Um, we try to not follow the typical traditions like um, you know for Christmas you're gonna eat this you're gonna do that and at this time you're doing this and yeah um, yep the alarm went off so to say no we don't we don't have any tradition traditional food Hang on, hang on a sec. Yeah. Um, let's see, I have to start that one again. Uh, last question, 35. Oh, I'm sorry, it was the mailman. Hang on, Billy, shh, shh. So, so, you go Ben. Yeah, um, if you could write a letter to your 18-year-old self, what advice would you give? Wow. Don't regret even bad mistakes. 
It's a life experience. Don't worry, you will feel better. That's, that's it, I think. Yeah, that's great. I hope this uh, is the last one, last time I try to answer these questions. <laughs> um. You know, I'm so happy that these drills are as good as they are. I can imagine that the square drills, whoops, I dropped that one. Where did I drop it? Mm, I can imagine that square drills like uh, Diamond and Art Clubs or Ever Moments, I've heard Ever Moment is um, really nice, or even better. And it's so hard for me to imagine, you know, truly imagine that that it can be better than this, even if I do have some trash. And if that's so, I'm really, really looking forward to get my hands on some of those kits and you know I think I will stick to those companies um, for ordering even though maybe they don't have that many uh, pictures I would like to diamond paint I'm, v I'm very picky when when it comes to the designs. I don't want to just do anything. I uh, I have to enjoy the picture I'm working on as well. Um, I don't like cats and dogs that much. You know, it has to be very a very different or special. Uh, painting then I now I'm sitting and saying this and like next week I will unbox five <laughs> cat paintings saying woo it's so cute and all this yeah you never know but at this moment no I um, I like scenery pictures I really do but then you know I start thinking like like a sunset over the ocean, it looks beautiful. But then you think, you know, the whole picture is like water and sky and you're gonna paint that. And then I'm like, oh, no, isn't that gonna be boring? I don't know, I don't know, I haven't tried. But um, I'm comparing it to a little bit to um, cross stitching. And in cross stitching, I like it when there's a lot going on on the picture. A lot going on on the picture. Have you seen Arya Stark? Have you seen it? Oh yeah, there's much going on there, but that that's different. This is Arya Stark. This is for the love of that character character was it called character no character in those books and i'm so terrible because i don't know the name of the actress who you know acts Arya stark but she does such a good job So that makes this 
diamond painting so awesome yeah yeah and the other week i became a patron for rachel ray and i guess anyone who sees my video already know who rachel ray is but if you don't i strongly recommend you to head over to her youtube channel and watch her videos she does great unboxing videos. She takes her time. It's nice and easy. No rushing and she has a very nice soothing voice. Um, so that's that's really really nice and she tries really to not it's not that she's trying hard. She tries to keep it keep it, you know, positive. Mm, and that's good too because we're very you know people are good at ranting so and i'm saying i i'm good at it too to see the negative and forget the positive so yeah uh so what else is going on yeah i'm I'm off this week because my daughter starts a new school. She started a new school this Monday and it's Thursday today, the oh, 22nd, I think it was. Yeah. And yeah, I, I took the week off because she's going to learn how to take the bus. New at the school where they speak English. Otherwise we speak Swedish, Swedish. So it's very new and yeah, you all know you don't know anyone and all this so but i'm i'm really really so proud of her she got fed up with the bullying and the how can you call it uh disrespectfulness at class in her own old school so one day she came home and she said, you know, mom, there's a new school opening in our town uh, and I want to start that school. And I was like, are you really sure you want to switch school? Because she usually, you know, sticks to her, um, you know, what feels safe and comfortable. You know, she doesn't really like to put herself into you know, in new unknown situations and she wanted to do this. So she's such a careful person, very shy and all this, but she did it. Yeah, I'm so proud of her. So, so that's why I'm home. Otherwise I'm working as a secretary at the hospital. Yes. For the moment I'm starting a new job at the hospital next week as part-time so I'm also getting pretty nervous but we'll see yeah. so I think I will end it here uh, in the next paint with me video uh, I'm gonna update you on my DAC package which is kept hostage at the post office what's going on with that and I have found another tag which is uh, 50 questions of get to know me quest uh, get to know me question tag or something like that so I thought I would answer some of those questions so you could, you know, find out more about me and get to know me a little bit better. Uh, if you have any suggestions or questions, just leave a comment below 
uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.